your boy Wolfie here, man. Welcome to the brand new career mode with Inter Milan. Started on all oh, y'all out here in these eight. You know what I'm saying? But before we continue, man, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supported the Watford series. It has ended abruptly. You know what I'm saying? Fortunately, it just wasn't going to work out in the long run. And if you have notifications on you would have seen i put out two polls on the community tab the first poll was basically asking you guys listen is, is it working out or not nah? you know long story cut short and everyone said oh no nah. so <laughs> that was a bit tough a uh, bit of pill to swallow because I, I i was i did want to do multiple seasons with watford but with the fact that ea haven't added any additions or changes into karima this year using smaller teams especially uninteresting teams like watford no offense um it's, you're going to struggle and I felt that first hand you know earlier on so I'm glad I've got that out of the way and I know now that moving forward especially this year of career mode I have to be very strategic in the you know career modes that I that I do this year because it's going to be a struggle it really is uh whether people think it or not it is because there's no new changes this is literally a copy and paste of last year just with some a few additional cutscenes and little minor uh, features that they didn't really mention or talk about in the uh you know media conferences etc leading up to the release of fifa 19. so yeah i do want to say a massive thank you to everyone who enjoyed that watford series i may or may not return to it uh via stream i may stream it along side roma but i'm not sure yet i don't want to do too many streams right now i've got spider-man and roma and that's good enough for me so yeah maybe when roma finishes or if spider-man finishes when i get spider-man done i will maybe return to what we'll have to see but anyway man we are here you know what i'm saying Lu luciano spalletti you know out here in the street your boy got that italian on fake not really um but anyway <clears throat> listen we're here we're doing this so i've kind of already set things up pretty like pretty much to, to what i need to to do well this season and um you know i've been in a few uh fifa career mode streams i've you know looked at various videos of what works and what doesn't work and uh bmo i don't know if you guys know of him uh, but he's been very supportive of me and my channel which is incredible because the guy's on like 100k i've been watching the guy since he was on like 15k it's crazy uh but he's been very supportive and i was in a stream the other day and he recommended to me you know because i like to play this kind of fast paced uh barcelona 2009-esque football he recommended i go with a 451 and it would match my playing style quite a lot because apparently me and him have the same playing styles which is which is great so he recommended this i watched it on stream it worked very well and i know you probably look at this and think hey you ain't got midfielders man you, you ain't oh, this this that's not how this should be this is i mean no um that, no there we go right so you're probably thinking right you haven't got any midfielders what's going on like if you get hit with an attack where's your midfield well i've actually used this tactic or formation should i say in kickoff and it's weird because you kind of don't even notice that you don't have a midfield because me and Golan and Joao Mario tend to just drop back regardless, and uh, Perisic and Balde tend to you know be on their defensive duties quite a bit. Although they are trash at defending, they are on their defensive duties, which is good. And then um, you know I think like for me personally, once I got to this area here where they're like near my my box. Um, they really didn't get into my box because I had so many players just around that area, which is great. So like Perisic and Balde just tend to drop back a little bit. So essentially, essentially you have like seven defenders, which is crazy. Um, so this just works really well for me. Going forward, I've got numbers. I've got Perisic, Balde, I've got Nian Golan, Joe and Mario, Icardi. Uh, Brozovic, I've instructed him to stay back so he won't be going that much forward. So he, he's just going to stay in the hole there and just chill, pause. Um, so yeah this, this works for me this works for me it's just going to require me to sign you know a lot more players than i would have if i was going to use like a, a 4 2 3 1 or 4 3 3. so with that being said talking about signings who are we letting go of? Who, who, who's getting who's getting the axe well uh let's go take a look at the squad that we have to our disposal so we've got handanovic who's going to be the starting goalkeeper i actually read handanovic <clears throat> some people don't but i do we've got my boy Padelli, Daniele Padelli, you know what I'm saying? 3274. Um, he's just gonna be the backup. I I I want to 
offer him a new contract for a year but i know he's gonna be stunting and try to get excited because i offered him a new contract so he's gonna be like listen i want four years regardless but it ain't gonna happen this is where i got kind of confused right so i've got raffaele the uh Gennaro, I think it would. I think it would be Gennaro. I don't think it would be Gennaro. I think it'd be Gennaro. Um, he's a prospect at 24 years of age. Okay, you know, okay, that, that's possible. You know, with the prospect 24, not really, but I'll let it slide. This though, how you a prospect at 35 years of age? Who's Max? So I so just come collect this guy off my screen. Moving on. Um, so yeah, no, going back actually. Bernie's leaving. And um, we're going to keep uh, Gennaro, uh, Radu, and not Radu, Adeli, and Handanovic. Uh, Vaslachio is on loan for a season. So um, that's that's great, great stuff. But I, I you know, you, you listen, permanent, please. <laughs> I would have preferred if it was permanent. It's a loan. So, of course, next season, we're going to have to sign a new right back. But regardless, we need a backup right back anyway. So that is one position that needs filling. We do need another centre back. Uh, we've got Skriniar here who I am kind of looking to build the team around in some ways. I, don't, I know it sounds stupid building a team around a defender, but I mean, the guy is just lit. Uh, we've got Miranda here who I was considering selling, but I looked at his his um, attributes. He can still do the business at 33. He can still do the business. I'll probably, I pro no, I will get rid of him at the end of the season. Uh, Stefan Devraj here is, he's just joined. I think he joined on the free, I can't remember. But uh, yeah, he will be a backup to the uh, starting partnership of uh, Skriniar and Miranda. A part of me wants to go with Devraj and Skriniar, but uh, Miranda is just solid. Very, very solid. Ranokia here is 30 years of age, 76 rated. I was considering selling him as well, but I, I figured I'm going to keep him just relax. You know what I'm saying? Don't do not do what you did in Watford. Just sell the whole team and end up in a, a rotten position. Just just relax. So Andrea Ranokia is going to be staying. Um, and I've actually offered him a new contract. So he will be here until he's 34 years of age. Moving on now, left back. So we've got Asamo who's just joined from Juventus weird transfer that I, I don't understand that um I, I i personally just don't rate asamo but he's here we're gonna have to use him for the first season so we'll see how well he does um ambrosio is the one i'm gonna be getting rid of because i only want to roll with two two left backs or two full backs should i say on each side so uh danielo uh, danilo Dan can't say his name danilo ambrosio is going to be the one to you know kick rocks i'm sorry dalba is going to be the backup left back however this man is talking about some let me show you 91 acceleration and sprint speed let me start though let me start and then we've got inside who's out on loan so when he comes back from torino i will transfer list him and get rid I, he used to be good he used to you remember them days when he was at ruben because i remember <laughs> anyway midfield <laughs> Uh, we've got Brozovic here, who I rate highly, highly. One of my favorite players wearing the Inter Milan shirt. Uh, we've got uh, Gagliardini, who is the 24-year-old uh, midfielder. I'm going to train him up and try and get him to at least 80, 81. And then uh, he'll probably take over Brozovic. Actually, he doesn't necessarily need to. They'll probably just be like the, the next partnership. You know what I'm saying? Modric and uh, flipping, uh, flipping Cruz out here. No? Okay. Uh, then we've got Matthias uh Vecino is what it is i i don't i actually surprisingly don't really know much about him so we'll, we'll, we're gonna keep him because he's 80 rated he's 26 he might turn out to be good or he might be very trash i don't know um Keita balde is out is on in real life he's on loan with a future fee but however ea don't know how to add future fees to transfer so that's tough but he does have a future fee in real life in the game he doesn't so he's only on loan with us for a season and then he will return back to af monaco but uh, he's going to be the starting uh right midfielder um as you saw in the formation screen earlier he can play up front which is great and uh, he was formerly known to play on the left-hand side with Lazio. So welcome back to the Serie A, my boy. Welcome back. Antonio Candreva is being transfer listed, man. Just for what I want and what I and how I play, um, Candreva's not it. He's not it. He's got to go. I can get money for him and replace him with someone better. It's just, it's just that simple. Um, Nian Golan, of course, signed from Roma this season. Um, he's going to be playing in that cam role. I know, I, I know. Yeah, I'm probably going to think, no, he's more of a midfielder. No, get all that. Going to play him in the cam and see how well he does. 
for, personally for me he, he should be perfectly fine because his physicals and his mentals are absolutely beautiful and uh, his technicals aren't that bad either and he's got 75 finishing as well which is decent and if he gets into that position uh, he should have no problem scoring and he's got 86 long shots so playing him and playing him in the camera is not a bad shout whatsoever and he'll be playing alongside Joa Mario of course we've got Ivan Pedisic on the left hand side man he had a fantastic World Cup kind of opened up everyone's eyes especially uh Dortmund fans who uh we we'll probably miss him now, probably miss him, but it is what it is, it is what it is, and uh, he's going to be holding that left-hand side until the time comes, really. Borja Valero, I'm getting rid of, 33, 81 rated. With that rating and that age, transfer listing him and get money now is the best financial move for Borja. Um, if I kept him and he started decreasing and his overall went down, whatever the attributes went down, it, it would have been a mess. So I think I'm cashing on him now is the best thing to do. I know we can get someone younger and a bit more, um, a bit more to my likings really. Joe Mario for now is the starting cam. Now, depending on how much I get for Valero and how much we've got left in the kitty, I do want to sign a kind of cam that would link up well and is in the region next to Niangolan. So that's the vision it's fifa so the vision ain't gonna come true you know what i'm saying i ain't got the mind stone what bars hey listen let me what no okay um moving on now so i did actually create i'm gonna have to offer him a new contract i did actually create gabriel barbosa because obviously of course if you didn't know some of the brazil no all of the Brazilian play players that don't play in like the top flight basically aren't in the game and Gabriel Barbosa currently right now is out on loan in them streets in Santos so because he's playing for Santos he's not in the game so I have to make him but he's on loan to Santos so he doesn't he's not moved there he's on loan from Inter so um I didn't want to put him in Santos because it wouldn't have made sense so I've just left him I created him and I've left him in the Inter Milan squad yes it doesn't look like him I tried my hardest but it's just tough out here in these streets when you're creating players on this game what's that but anyway I'm gonna to have to offer him a new contract he is a 75 rated um and as you can see these are his attributes I basically copy and pasted his attributes from FIFA 18 and that was it <laughs> That's, that's all I did. Uh, FIFA 18, he's a 76 rated uh, from what I gave him um, following the FIFA 18 attributes. He's a 75 rated on FIFA 19. So there are his physicals. I kept it true. I kept it true. Uh, followed what it was on FIFA 18. So that pace and that acceleration ain't amazing, but it's there at least. Uh, you kind of need it in this year's game. Um, and then the technicals are there. Um, looking as so so yeah he's decent he's 21 so he's still got a lot of room for improvement but i'm definitely gonna have to offer him a new contract uh because i do not want any more trouble trying to come in for him pause what's he on because you look you get 40 are you sure are you sure bro? delegate renewal um start from 42 don't go higher than that oh sorted except done bow hello new contract sorted obviously we've got lutaro martinez the wonder kid um the wonder kid that's learning off of my boy ikadi ikadi we licked up back up with ikadi ikadi hey that's ikadi ikadi hey listen listen if you saw what i was doing with a card pause but if you saw what i was doing with ikadi with chelsea hey listen it's about to be a wrap in Syria, I'm telling you, man, it's about to be a wrap. If he's as good as he was on FIFA 18, hey, it's a wrap. I will score. This guy was scoring goals for fun. That's tough. Uh, then obviously back to Lautaro Martinez, though. Uh, got too excited. Um, yeah, he looks very good. He should be very good. He was very good last year on the game. Um, he's doing quite good or I, I haven't been keeping an eye on Inter Milan in Serie A. I've only been keeping an eye on Juventus, Roma, Napoli and Parma. That's about it. So um out oh, and Fiorentina. I haven't I don't really and, and funnily enough out of AC Milan and Inter Milan I'm an Inter Milan guy so that's weird. But anyway um I, I guess I hope he's doing all right. I haven't really checked but I, I guess we'll see. We've got Pinamonti is out on loan um that 62 rating is a bit low for me 
Uh, Pinamonti is a hot prospect, very hot prospect in Italy. So I feel like a 62 rating is a bit harsh. Mm, don't know about that. And then we've got uh, Politano, who is the other left winger to Pedisic, and uh, will play as backup to Pedisic until God knows when. But he's only on loan though. Ah, Inter Milan, you're killing me with these loans, man. You're killing me with these loans. In terms of how much you've got to spend, we've got 44 million and almost 200k on the wages. I have activated a Scout Future Star as well, so that will be coming in for the next episode. Uh, before we do end off and round off the episode, man, I do want to show you my shortlist. This is what I, these are the players that I'm going to try and um, sign, and then you guys can leave suggestions and I will add them to the shortlist moving forward into the up and coming trans windows that we do have with this career mode. So, for my right back option, my backup right back option. I've got Fabricio Bustos, I've got Dodo, and I've got Klosterman. Ideally, my mind is currently set on Bustos, and if Bustos fails, then I'll go after Klosterman. Dodo is just there in case all of them fail, but um, who knows? I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm waiting for a scout report to come back, and I'm going to check all their attributes, and I'll see what they are like. Uh, Akpoguma is there as one of the centre-back options. I do rate him highly. I think he is a great German talent it would be nice to have him in the squad and then we've got um, Mr. OP everyone's gonna sign in Malang Saar there um, I don't know if that's his actual fit is that's his actual face I can't really tell but he's there uh, in terms of right midfielders now I do feel like I need maybe two like so Kondre was leaving so I'm gonna need a right midfielder anyway and then I feel like I need a backup right midfielder and a backup left midfielder to the backup right midfielder and the backup left midfielder that we've got already what <gasps> Yo. So anyway, I've got Ferran Torres who at one I remember playing FM, right? I remember seeing this guy in like Valencia's B team. I can't remember if it was I can't remember what team it was, but it was like one of the B teams in Spain. This guy was trash. Moving forward now, 2018, this man is somewhat of a talent. Okay. <laughs> Time is flying. Matias Aracho, I um, did actually sign him one in one career mode. I can't remember which career mode it was, but I did sign him in one career mode um, last year on FIFA 18. Guy was lit. Played him in midfield, but I think due to his height being 5'7, I would have been I would have been smarter back then to have played him on the right man, right hand side, flipping getting 480 no scope by flipping Pogba in midfield. Am I stupid? Uh, then we've got Danny Omo. Um, who I've known about for quite some time and it's finally nice to have him in the game because we've now got Dynamo Zagreb in the game. We'd like to see a Dynamo Zagreb career mode if someone wants to do one. Ezekiel Barco is another option that I want to get um, but he's quite highly rated and I feel like uh, Politano would probably have to get the chop if I did sign him meaning I'd have to cancel um, Politano uh, as a loan. I'd have to cancel it if I got someone like Barco because Barco is very highly rated. Uh, then we've got uh, Alfonso Davies. Now his contract actually expires at the end of the year, and I know in real life he has agreed a deal with Bayern Munich. But let me make it. Let me break it down for y'all. The deal um, doesn't go through until January, so he's not a Barcelona a Bayern Munich player. Sorry, until January. So right now, you know, in career mode, they obviously haven't got that feature where they can do future transfers and things like that. So he's still at. Vancouver Whitecaps so I'm going to take my chances and it, I do want to sign him I can't lie. Eric Aguirre I signed him multiple times on FIFA 8 from like FIFA 7 no not FIFA 17. Was it FIFA 17 FIFA 17 I've been signing this guy um, FIFA 18 I think I signed him in the offline career mode as well but I didn't use him that's the problem I've signed him but I've not used him He's very versatile for me personally because he can play left mid and central midfielder, which is great for the 4-5-1 that we're using. Uh, Lucas Rodriguez, for now forget Hamels, you know what I'm saying? Forget Hamels or James, flipping James. Forget him, we got Lucas Rods out here. Lucas Rods, he is like the one of the camp options I'm thinking of going to um, just as a backup, really. Just as a backup. Um, Victor Kovalenko is another backup and Oscar is the one <clears throat> that I want to go for as like the guy to match up with Niangolan. He is the one and the thing is he's not even that expensive. He's 26 million. I can get him for between 28 and 37. Now if I sell um, Borgia for at least 20 mil 
that's that's half of that covered i'm chilling and then i got to albert ellis there as well on the right hand side to um possibly replace ken draver or be the backup right right midfielder i don't know i was meant to sign him with watford but i didn't have enough money so that is pretty much that and that is pretty much it for this introduction episode man no transfers ain't gonna do all that i think we've been going for like 15 20 minutes so i'm gonna stop here if you're gonna enjoy the series man make sure you drop a big old like man i don't usually set like targets but for this one i'm going to can we hit 50 likes on this video 50 likes on this video you know what I'm saying? Show your support. Come out with full force. RKO, sweet chip music, DDTs, all of that. Come out in full force. Pause. And you see the group. We've got bastard and that's up. But anyway, I'm out here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Take care of yourselves. Peace.